Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain Brightburn. This movie tells the story of a couple who found a baby boy in a spaceship and adopted him as their own child. However, after turning 12, the boy learns that he has superpowers and begins to use them for sinister purposes. Is this boy an evil version of Superman? Let's find out in Brightburn. Brightburn begins by showing a husband and wife, Kyle and Tori Brayer, who desperately crave the presence of a child in their married life. One night, the couple was shocked by a violent shock and the electricity suddenly went out. After that, Tori saw the appearance of a red light not far from their house. Twelve years later, Tori is seen looking for her son, Brandon. That morning, Tori was a little worried that Brandon wasn't in his room. She then looked for her son in the barn and Brandon who was hiding there, suddenly startled her. Since Brandon arrived at their home, Tori and Kyle have felt incomparably happy because now their family is complete. Moreover, Brandon is also a smart kid at school, although this does not make him immune from bullying by his friends at school. However, Brandon gets support from his classmate, Caitlin, who says that he is a genius student and geniuses will rule the world. Hearing Caitlin's words, Brandon felt more confident and tried to ignore the treatment of the students who bullied him. That night, when Brandon was asleep in his room, suddenly there was a strange sound and along with the appearance of a red light from inside the barn. Shortly after that, he experienced severe shaking causing him to sleepwalk to the barn. On the other hand, Tori, who was painting, felt awkward and went out of the house. When she saw something moving very fast, she became suspicious and went to the barn. She finds Brandon trying to open the cellar that emits a red light there. Tori immediately prevented the boy from opening it and brought him back into the house. The next day, while Kyle and Brandon were doing carpentry works, it was revealed that Brandon was the adopted child of the Brayers. Even so, Kyle and Tori really love Brandon like their own biological child. Kyle then asked Brandon to cut the grass while going to town to buy seeds. When Brandon had difficulty starting the lawnmower, the boy accidentally threw the machine far enough away. Brandon, who felt strange to him since the night before, desperately put his hand into the lawnmower that was still running and he was not hurt at all. In the evening, Kyle and Tori take Brandon to a nearby restaurant to celebrate his birthday with Marilee, Tori's younger sister and her husband, Noah. Noah then gives Brandon a birthday gift in which is a hunting weapon. But Kyle thought that Brandon was too young to use a gun and immediately took the gift from his son. Brandon shows an unexpected reaction, in which he is so angry with his father that Kyle and Tori decide to take him home. Upon arriving home, Tori tried to calm her husband by saying that Brandon's behavior was reasonable. The two then agreed to take Brandon camping. Kyle found Brandon behaving strangely by biting his fork until it bent as he was getting ready to go camping. On the other hand, Tori who was cleaning Brandon's clothes in the room, found a booklet about sexy women and the anatomy of a woman's body. Tori showed it to Kyle and the two decided to give Brandon some advice. While on the hunt, Kyle and Brandon engage in a conversation about intimate relationships between men and women. Brandon seemed to listen to his father's words carefully. That night, Tori wakes up and doesn't find Brandon in the tent. Elsewhere, Brandon had come into Caitlin's room and secretly watched her through the window. But Caitlin who realized Brandon's presence then screamed for her mother because she was terrified. Erica, Caitlin's mother, rushed into her daughter's room, but she couldn't find Brandon anywhere. One day during an exercise in school with his classmates, Brandon falls toward Caitlin. She lets him drop to the ground and accuses him of being a pervert, having previously seen him in her room at night. Caitlin is forced to help Brandon up, but Brandon, Frustrated by her accusation, crushes her hand. For this incident, Erica demands accountability from Brandon's parents and asks Sheriff Deaver to arrest him. But because Brandon is still a child, the sheriff can't do much and Brandon only gets suspended from school. Arriving at the house, Tori and Kyle get into an argument about Brandon after Tori reveals that Brandon had been sleeping while walking and she found him trying to open the cellar in the hut. Hearing this, Kyle was increasingly convinced that Brandon was very different from children in general because he had never been sick or injured in his life. While Tori is searching for an extraterrestrial object that crashed near her home 12 years ago, Brandon is again sleepwalking towards the barn. Brandon walks towards the warehouse where Tori and Kyle have hidden the extraterrestrial object. Tori who knew this, immediately followed Brandon and saw him fly, while shouting the sentence, take the world. Tori tries to reach Brandon, but something happens that causes Brandon to get hurt for the first time. Tori then tightly hugged the child who seemed panicked by what had just happened. After that, Tori reveals to Brandon that she and Kyle found a baby boy in a spaceship 12 years ago. They then decided to adopt the baby and named him Brandon. 
Hearing his mother's confession, Brandon then went on a rampage and broke things. He then goes to see Caitlin to apologize for hurting her hand. But Caitlin still looks frightened by Brandon's presence because her mother forbids her to contact Brandon again. Finally, Brandon was gone from there. On the other hand, Erica, who was working in the restaurant alone at that time, was surprised by the appearance of the double B rune drawn on the restaurant window. Shortly after, the lighting in the restaurant had problems and when Erica looked up at the lamp, it suddenly exploded and the shards of the light bulb hit her eyes. At the same time, Brandon appeared while wearing a costume to cover his identity. Erica then takes a baseball bat just in case and hides in the closet. But Brandon was able to break into the cupboard by melting the metal door. The next day, Sheriff Deaver, who arrived at the scene, did not find Erica's body anywhere. The sheriff found only the double B symbol painted all over the restaurant windows. Elsewhere, Marilee, who works as a supervising teacher at Brandon's school, is having a counseling session with Brandon regarding the incident that injured Caitlin's hand. Marilee asks Brandon if he feels remorse after hurting Caitlin, but Brandon did not show the slightest remorse. Marilee then said she needed to report the results of their counseling session to the school, parents and Sheriff Deaver. She asked Brandon to rethink the consequences of his actions. That night, Brandon went to Marilee's house and asked her not to report information to the sheriff or his parents. But Marilee still intends to tell the truth and tells Brandon to go home. Just as Marilee was about to sleep, Brandon slipped into her room. But at the same time, Noah, who had just arrived at his house, found Brandon hiding in his closet. Noah then orders Brandon and intends to drive him home. But Brandon instead attacked the man and killed him. He also made a symbol of his name like when he killed Erica. Meanwhile, Kyle and Tori look worried because Brandon hasn't come home yet. Not long after, Brandon came home shirtless. The boy said that he had just come home from playing football and his clothes were very dirty. But Kyle and Tori immediately found out that Brandon was lying because the boy wouldn't allow Tori to take his dirty clothes. Kyle and Tori again get into an argument about Brandon, which causes Kyle to have nightmares. In the middle of the night, Tori gets a call from Marilee who tells her that Noah had an accident and died. Kyle and Tori immediately rush to the hospital. Marilee told Tori and her husband that police suspect Noah's cause of death was that he was driving drunk. Marilee then tells about Brandon's visit to her house the night Noah died. The following day, Tori and Kyle tell Brandon about Noah's death, but Brandon shows no emotion or empathy, which infuriates them. Kyle immediately accuses Brandon of killing Noah and arrests him, but Brandon retaliates by violently pushing him away. Kyle then sneaks into Brandon's room and finds blood stained his clothes. Kyle then showed it to Tori, but she refused to believe her son was a murderer. Later that night, Kyle apologizes to Tori and comes up with the idea of hunting alone with Brandon to mend their relationship. Tori let her husband and son go for quality time together the following day. Kyle then takes Brandon on a hunting trip into the woods. As it turns out, Kyle intended to kill Brandon with his hunting rifle, but the execution failed when the bullet bounced off the back of Brandon's head. Realizing what Kyle was trying to do, Brandon went after him and killed the man with heat vision. Elsewhere, Sheriff Deaver finds a clue while investigating Erica's missing case and Noah's accident case, where there is the same double B symbol at the scene. Deaver concluded that double B is an acronym for Brandon Breyer based on the investigation. Deaver rushed to the Breyer house to meet Brandon. But upon arrival, Tori informs the sheriff that Kyle and Brandon are not at home. Deaver then shows Tori the double B symbol found at the site of Erica and Noah's death. Tori lies when Deaver asks if she has seen the symbol before. After Deaver leaves, Tori rushes to Brandon's room and finds Brandon's notebook filled with the double B symbol as well as a chronological picture of the boy's murders and his message to take the world. Tori finally begins to believe Kyle's words about Brandon, most likely a murderer. Tori tries to call Kyle to tell him that Brandon killed Erica and Noah, but it turns out that Brandon answered the phone and implied that he would now come for Tori. Knowing that her safety was in danger, Tori immediately called the police for help. At the same time, Brandon returns and starts destroying the house. Police started to flock to the Brayer house, but Brandon could easily kill them all. While hiding, Tori then remembers that the spaceship can hurt Brandon. Tori immediately ran to the barn and found Erica's body that had been gutted. She rushed to take the spaceship piece, then called Brandon. When Brandon comes to her, Tori tries to tell the boy how much she loves him, no matter what he does. Tori then hugged Brandon, trying to stab him with a piece of the spaceship. But Brandon had expected this and immediately thwarted her attack. In retaliation, Brandon flies Tori Miles into the sky above the clouds and hurls her to her death, just as a plane approaches. Brandon then drops the plane over Kyle and Tori's farmhouse to cover up his actions, 
which he also does to destroy the spaceship, which is the only weakness he has. The next day, the police started arriving and the entire media crew reported that everyone in the incident was pronounced dead and Brandon was the only one who survived. After that, Brandon started his attacks worldwide, which were covered by various television stations that made it a news headline. Brandon has also been dubbed as Brightburn by the media. A conspiracy theorist named Big T discusses the Brightburn incident and the existence of other superpowers and pleads with humanity to take action before Brightburn and other superpowers take over the world.